Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss checkbox in Tick Enter. A checkbox is a GUI wizard that permits the user to make a binary choice that is either yes or no. If it is checked, the answer is yes. If it is unchecked, the answer is no. A checkbox can contain text or images. First, we will create a variable to store the state of checkbox either checked or unchecked. It will be an integer variable. To define a checkbox, we have to write the name of the checkbox is equal to check button within bracket we have to give the parent window and text that we will show to the user here I am writing click this box there are many options that we can declare in check button but here I am using only a few First, we are using variable is equal to where, where will track the state of check button, whether it is checked or unchecked. By default, I want to uncheck the check button. For that, I am writing the name of the button dot deselect. Deselect will turn off the check button. Now we have to pack the wizard. Let us see the result by executing the program. If you can see there is a checkbox. Now we will write the method to be called when this check button is checked. Now we will create a button. For that we have to write button 1 is equal to button within bracket we have to write root comma text is equal to click me we can write any text as per our requirement and we will write a command that is to be called when button is clicked here i am just writing command is equal to click now we have to define the command also. In the command, I just want to show the state of checkbox whether it is 0 or 1. For that only we have declared the variable as in variable. We will define a label inside which the state of checkbox will be written. For that, we have to write name of the label is equal to label and inside that we have to write root window, comma, text to be shown to the user. We have to pack the button in the root window also. For that, we have to write button one dot pack. We have to pack each wizard in the root window so that it will be displayed in the main window. If we will not pack the wizard, it will not be displayed in the main window. If we are going to school, then also we have to pack all our necessary equipments or books or accessories that we want to use here text is equal to where dot get where dot get will have either 0 or 1 that is a boolean value and we can pack like this also level dot pack we will execute the program and we will see the result if the checkbox is unchecked if you will press the button, it will give 0. If the checkbox is 
checked the button will creep one it is working nicely but we can have any text instead of zero and one it may be honor of yes or no anything we want by default the associated control variable is set to 1 but if we want to change the state of the checked variable to some other one we can use on value here on value is on the associated control variable is set to be 0 by default if the button is unchecked but if we want to change the state of an unchecked variable to some other one we have to use a value we have executed the program as you can see if it is checked the value is on if it is unchecked the value is off first we have to convert the int variable to string variable then only we can have on and off because on and off are string values we can have any text suppose we want to make a program for theater then we can have the text want a movie ticket and on value can be yes and off value can be no if the user will check the check button yes will be printed or if it is unchecked then no will be printed now we will execute the program to see the result if it is unchecked then no will be printed if it is checked then yes will be printed in next video we will discuss about radio buttons hope this series is useful to you do comment if ever you are having any queries Thanks for watching the video.